Hey guys, this is Macman from Voron Design. I'm just here to give a little bit of advice about uh, Clipper and when you guys update your Clipper. These are for the people that have already running machines and, uh, well, they, they, they want to live on the edge and have the latest and greatest and get the newest advancements or newest uh, extras that have been added or just, you know, edits that have been changed, like the quad gantry level. And uh, this is how you find the documentation to... Uh, figure out what's been changed, how to find that documentation, and how to quickly uh, figure out what you need to change in your config. Um, this will help you guys from having to ask these questions in the Discord, uh, basically uh, whenever they happen and all of a sudden your printer won't work. Um, I'm just trying to make you more self-sufficient. So I just did an update on my clipper. I, I don't update as often as uh, you would think. Uh, I update my stuff once every month or so, or whenever I, I look through the comments on uh, GitHub, and uh, there's something that I, th I feel I need to change, or I want to use, or I want to try, or I want to test. Anyway, so as you can see up here, I have done a git pull, right? I I'm in my Pi. Right here, it shows you where we're pulling from. So uh, I am pulling from the official uh, re repository for Clipper. Uh, it shows where I was, and it shows where I'm going to. And it shows that I'm on the master branch, okay? It also shows that there are two new branches here, uh, obviously for different things. We have an open uh, OCD branch that popped up, and we have a homing branch that propped up. Uh, if I felt like I might want to figure out what that's about, maybe I would go to those branches and see what's changed. But this isn't uh, what this is about. That's just a little bit about what happens when you do a git pull. Um, there's probably more. I am very git uh, stupid, I like to say, because uh, I know enough to get by. Um, but when we do a git pull, uh, we can see that there are changes. So, uh, for example, our config extras changed. Well, there have been a few deletions, and there's been a lot of additions to our uh, example extras config. All right, so what might have changed? Well, let's go down here, and we can just start looking through all the various things that we have here. Um, more often than not, it's going to be in the extras that, that we care about. Well, what, what extras have changed? Um, well, I see here the end stop extra has a deletion and, a ch and an addition. Maybe something in end stop phase has changed. Uh, but we see two new extras that showed up. There are no deletions. All we have here are additions, meaning that was created. And if you look down here, these are all the new files since my last git pull uh, that have come into my uh, clipper or, or, or that I have received from the repository. Um, and you can see here we got slew correction. At the document, we see here we get slew length. That's just, that's just a picture, so it's probably part of uh, our slew correction here. Uh, we also have slew correction pi. And we have Oh, look at that. Check white space has been added. Hmm. That's going to be nice for those people doing PRs. Anyway, uh, I was actually wrong. There is one. There must be a change to this. I'm just not seeing because I don't see. Oh, slew correction pi. There it is. Slew correction pi. It's the pause resume, which looks new to me, but I don't have a pause resume down here. Am I blind? Am I blind? Mm hmm. That's interesting. They must have just pause resume. Must have just got additions and no and no deletions. Okay. So, what am I going to go look at? Well, we know config extras was changed. We know we have a couple new documents down here. Well, one slew slew correct slew length. Um, so we can go read that. Um, the big one is you have example. So there's been a lot of additions to the example config. We also have some documentation that's changed. Here's our config changes document. Uh, Kevin's really, really nice about uh, when he can, and he realizes that uh, uh, a config change requires, or uh, a required configuration change should be added um, to the config changes document. Doesn't always happen, um, but it, it's on you. The onus is on the, <laughs> the operator, the user, uh, to do these things, all right? And also we see uh, features and G-code has changed. So, 
you know, these are documents we should probably go look at. All right, so over here, I have, we are at the, the Clipper base page. Um, the first thing I wanted to do, oh, uh, sorry, I thought I was. I'm at the Clipper base page. So the first thing we want to do is let's go, well, let's go read, let's go check out the uh, config changes. All right, let's go see what happened with config changes. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go to documents here, and we're gonna go to config changes. It'd be nice if my mouse scroll wheel worked in here. All right, well, what's changed? I I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, obviously, this just lists the last thing uh, that was put in there on the 28th of November. But something really nice that you can do with Git, so and this will be wrapped up in the comment that this is in. You can just click on history here. All right. This document was updated for latest changes in slew correction. Ah, well, let, let's actually read that. All right. Here, w this window shows us all the things that have changed with that comment. So here's the here's the changes to our um, example our example extras config. This was removed. This was added. Okay. There's a whole bunch of removed. And a space was added. See how easy this is? I could read this if I wanted to. You know, here we got a calibration model along a plane, blah, 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 blah. Uh, now we go to our config changes. Well, there's that comment about the slew correction or set slew. Uh, here's our G code document. Here's a whole bunch that was added. Okay, cool. Oh, what is this? Slew correction section, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, now, no, it's changed. We no longer have a slew correction, I think. I think now we might have a set slew. G code. You need to read more about that. I bet, I bet it'll be further down in the document. And then more stuff for the slew. So this is all concerning that one comment. But I got here from just the changes document. All right. So you can, you can read. It's a good idea to read what was removed along with what was added or changed. So that way you might know what you need to change in your config. And this, this is obviously all uh, around the slew correction. Okay. Now, of course, that doesn't work. Um, hmm. It's easier to just go this route. Now, let's go check out the config extra. Our example. Uh, where is it at? I have a microphone in my way. Here we go. Examples extra. So I know slew has changed. I'm just going to go to history. I'm just going to go to the history. So we got uh, virtual end stop pins added. Uh, some documentation. So this is showing, since I'm in just this one file, all the comments all the commits that were that affect this one file. So if I want to see the slew correction, I can click on this. It's going to go back to the page we've already been at. Can I go back? Of course not. Yeah. Running a browser inside OBS is a real pain in the butt. Going backwards is not an easy thing to do. Or if it is, I don't know. I don't know the... Uh, the commands to do that, so I have to navigate. Well, I'm really just showing you how to try to be self-sufficient here, all right? So you can go back to your extras. We can just go ahead and read through this. We can do a find. Can I find with this? I cannot. So there was there was changes to quad gantry level. So here is our quad gantry level. These are changes that happened a while back. Um, but the things that were added were retries and retry tolerance. So here is the documentation for those. Um, look at right underneath it. We got slew correction. So it looks like we just add slew correction here. It's done by printing a calibration model along with a plane, measuring three lengths due to the nature of slew correction. These lengths are set via G code. C, slew correction MD, and G code's MD in the docs 
for details. Uh, let's go check that out real quick. Since that was the latest thing that was added. So let's go to the documents. Let's go look at that slew correction. Stop. Slew correction. There we go. And here are the instructions on figuring out your slew correction. This is interesting. And I might just give this a test just for the G whiz because it just seems kind of interesting. Uh, say your gantry in your Voron 2 is just slightly skewed. Well, this will fix that in the software. I can tell you right now, software fixes are never as good as a hardware fix. So uh, you don't need to go crazy with trying to get everything perpendicular, but you want to try to be as close to true as possible. And, and minor corrections in the software generally don't don't uh, have drastic uh, negative side effects. But um, just know that when you when you when you correct things, when you're trying to correct for hardware or through software, uh, you might end up with uh, some issues in the future, or even when you're trying to do that uh, correction. Uh, that it just doesn't work out as good as actually fixing it, fixing the actual problem itself, uh, which would be a hardware issue. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for now. This has already gone longer than I wanted to. I just wanted to put this out there, and uh, I will pin this in our Discord, so that way it won't disappear to, to the slew of people talking in the uh, Clipper Mini Controllers channel. Anyway, this is Maglin. Catch you guys on the flip side.